the essential principle that a food forest is based on is the ecological concept of forest succession. If you leave a patch of dirt unattended for 50 to 150 years, you'll end up with a temperate forest and all the layers will slowly progress from the weird layers all the way up. Mm. And if you keep on ripping it back to a veggie patch, you end up ripping it back to a weed layer. So as the, weed, as the levels of the layers, you know, the, the, the ground covers, the herbaceous layers, the shrubs, the tree, the climbers and everything else establish themselves naturally over, um, in a temperate forest over 50, 150 years, what we do is we plant it up all at once or as fast as the water will allow, yes. putting the hardiest species in first. And pretty well, this is a temperate forest ecological model. The only difference is we pick the species and the varieties that benefit us, things that we can eat, things that we can use, you know, things that we like the look of. And ultimately, um, what we're doing is leveraging the processes of nature that evolved over hundreds of millions of years, yep. rather than trying to reinvent how to grow plants and how to grow food. Yep. And what we do is we set up the way nature sets it up and then nature takes over because the natural processes, processes have evolved over such a long time and they're pretty well perfected by nature. It's the most sustainable model you can actually get. We, in permaculture, we call it a small scale intensive system because we pack a lot into a small space and it makes it far easier to manage. Purely um, in terms of the energy and effort that you can actually put into the garden, you can produce four times as much than a regular farm just because it's easier to manage space wise. And the other benefit of um, this model is it's um, because you're leveraging a natural process, it means there's less inputs from you, there's less labour and effort. So, you know, it's essentially very low on energy, very low on inputs, very low on other resources. Uh, but if you want to take it to this level, what it's intensive in is information. You have to know your plants but you can keep it as simple as you like and use some of the processes or you can take it full bore. This is essentially Melbourne's first demonstration food forest. This is a pioneering work. Um, it's the first time that a food forest has been squeezed into a public space and fully documented. And it's all transparent and all published on my website, Deep Green Permaculture. The, um, what the pioneering work here is to actually was actually the means of squeezing a food forest which has been done in rural environments down into a backyard. I've taken the American technique or the US technique of backyard orchard culture and blended it with food forest gardening to create a backyard food forest. And this is a proof of concept model that is shown to work. It's been running for six years so far. We intend to run, the, run it as an experimental garden for 10 years and um, we'll be documenting all the yields um, through most of it. I've only taken a two year break from years four to year six. Yep. Next year we'll be resuming the count. And it's really just a proof of concept. And it yep. shows that you can garden exactly like nature and create a very, very sustainable garden system that looks after itself.